key fob. We're gonna pitch here and make a phone call. Thank you. All right, I switched it over to Courtney Love. Whew, now that is a good recording. If you're gonna do something studio, you wanna sound like that, okay? That I have no argument with. She was better than Nirvana. This right here is uh, a mural. Look at that. Is that not freaky? We're gonna go around it to the side. It's cucumber eyes. The eyes for Consuela. or counts as a Sam Shepard play in some eyes. Now, yeah, Courtney Love, she, I think her recordings are better than Nirvana. She had a great sound. Malibu, just listen to Malibu. That's the studio sound. The guitar, everything. But it can easily be messed up if the musicians don't know how to play it. And the vocals are great. Yeah, her vocals are dangerously good. She probably learned that from Kurt. Because Kurt was, uh, he was specialized in vocals. He, that was the thing with Nirvana. It was a lot about the vocals. Although they were a good band. But the vocals were pretty incredible. But Courtney knew how to rip it up. And the song Malibu, I just love it. It just kind of eases on to you. Malibu, you know, it just, it seeps into you slowly. You know, and it makes you think. And then you remember the video. Now the video is bad A. Eh? I mean, the video is a great video. I don't even know if David Bowie could make a video that good. I love the video of Malibu. It's a great video about women's liberation and just recovery and freedom. Because I think she did that post-Kurt. But um, she's still recovering. I know she's been through a lot. This is kind of a cool little area. We've got this guy. And then we'll just switch over from there. All right, so they started building in 1931. They resurrect, or they, they they erected it in 1933, and it's Beaux Arts. So it's a mixture between neoclassicism, Renaissance, and elements of Baroque. It's a great little building. It's on the uh, endangered species building. You know what I mean? All right. So what they did with Courtney Love on Malibu on the song on the studio recording is they had backup singers that were her band, and they're singing very pretty behind her, doing kind of the chorus right but they're also singing um melody um behind her vocals so they blend to a certain degree and they blend the two so you're hearing courtney love hit her notes and then you have the melody behind it or really the, really the chorus carrying it kind of like almost like they do with church music sometimes or gospel it's very similar so she is thrown through the song and then you get her characteristic. You get her voice, which is beaten up. It's a hard years living with Kurt, all the stuff that she had to go through. And it's in the voice. And it's it's like, you know, they do it sometimes with uh, musicals. Um, and then you have the chorus behind, which is the band members singing and, 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 and justifying and lifting the voice. So it's carrying through. It's an incredible recording. I bought it a long time ago on MP3. I probably pirated it. Then I switched it over. It may be a song that I buy for Apple. Um, it's I really wait. I'm patient before I get a song. That's why I got all Joy Division stuff. But I'm patient and I'm, I'm probably whole, at least Malibu, that song, I will be getting here pretty soon. So anyway, I just wanna say that.
6.55.3 point, or 6.54.2 point, I don't know, is that an 8? 6? It's an 8. <laughs> Oh, 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 me tonight. It gets in your head. I like Concrete Blonde too, but I'm a big, I'm a big Corny Love fan. But I like Concrete Lo uh, Blonde. craziness uh, I like this though this setup it's right Montgomery Plaza it's a cool setup everyone's happy that lives there I mean most people back in the day in 1949 it flooded from the Trinity River all the way to the second floor look at it though their apartments but they have restaurants at the bottom be good for a little writer come in and write a little novel on top of Montgomery Plaza talk about the ghosts and stuff that drowned in 1949 when they had to use John boats to like boat to the actual Montgomery Plaza and be like hey let's go pick up my dog and my family and everything because well we have to boat to where we were at well they probably worked there if anything back in the day it was probably for work maybe like warehouse work and stuff like that they turned it into apartments eventually I gotta switch over yeah back in the day the old John boat you could just boat up here we don't know how long it was flooded for probably a while and we don't know how many people died and stuff, but it was 1949, four years after World War II. Pretty Krayskin. Okay, let's talk about Krayskin. Okay, so Krayskin is a word I created. Every writer creates a word. And it's basically crazy again. So if something's crazy one time, and then it can be crazy again, thus Krayskin. Look at this right here. You can't even see it. I meant Krayskin. Sorry, I mispronounced it. The word I created. So you can be crazy one time, and then you can be crazy again. Krayskin. That is freaking Krayskin. So if anybody else knows that word, let me know. It's just when something comes about again. Like, I've already seen this craziness. It's Krayskin. Okay, I think I came up with it. You cannot see the Velvet Taco sign. See? You can't see it at all. It says open really late. There's somewhere around here that had a, a roof balcony. It's because the sun is too bright. There's the Abbey Pub where all the Irish people hang out. It's really just a bunch of freaking um, Latino. No, I'm joking. There are Latinos that go in there, but it's like, hey, man, it's an Irish pub. What's going on? Where are you from? Well, it says Abbey Pub. I used to hang out at uh, Consuelo's, and I just came over here. All right, it's cool. Get a beer. I don't know. There's not really, like, pure Irish pubs. There's another Irish pub down that way. It looks, like, all departed and stuff. Scorsese's all, like, filming people. <laughs> What's going on? Jack Nicholson walks in. You can't handle the truth, man. Neither can you handle this liquor. There's bar winches back behind the bar that have their liquor license. They're all butch. So, what's up, man? I play baseball. I got my liquor license. Yeah, I got that one on accident. It's a little buzz. Yeah. The Krayskin. Yes, you can be crazy again. Krayskin. Yes, you can be crazy again. Krayskin. It's craze and gen. As in again. Krayskin. Crazy again. Krayskin. Did question my authority. Look at this right here. Is that not great? You're walking by that, you're like, I love my city. And my city loves me. Chlorine infested water fountains. Parakeets jump on there and 
sip on it and die. I don't even know why I said parakeets. Sometimes they escape parakeets. They'll escape the uh, bird cage. They're like, where did, where did Fluffy the feather, whatever they call feather the, <laughs> they call him Fluffy. Where did the, where did Feather go? Feather's gone. He flew off. Where, where did he go? He flew off. They went by a nearby uh, fountain that's infested with chlorine and he drank it and now Feather's dead. No! Get a shoebox. Yeah, I'll Feather the parakeet, he escaped the cage and he went to the infested chlorine fountain and he sipped on it and now he's dead. He died. I said it again, isn't that crazy? The parakeet died. No, I don't know, I'm just joking. They can buy the parakeet in the pet shop and they can just kill it right there. That's why they, you know, that's why they don't use uh, wild birds and stuff, like bluebirds and things. They just go and grab a parakeet. <laughs> Seven thirty six four one point six. Seven five one nine three point five. All right, we got predators at the zoo. Predators at the zoo. Check this out. Asian and African predators. They're mostly like leopards. So bring your kids, bring the family, and go see the predators at the zoo. And also October, there's boo at the zoo. I guess they're doing some kind of project at TCU with trees and I guess those are what, four by four kind of looking things. 12 by fours. This is where Circle Theater started. It began on Blue Bonnet Circle. Yeah, it looks like it's this one right here. All fours. It's a nice little brick house. If you were to walk up to someone and just smash them right in the in the cheekbone, which I hit mine on a cabinet, but if that were to happen, that's serious problem. But in UFC, UFC fighting ring, no big deal, happens every day. Sparring at a fight club, happens every day, no big deal. You see, it's all about a situation and circumstance. 
So, you know, it just has to do with situation. Let's say if you're at work and you're saying, I'm sick of my manager, I'm sick of him. You know what, F this. And you just punch your manager right in the, in the head. Kind of like how Daniel Johnson took a pipe at McDonald's, took this pipe at back in the storage room, whatever. He grabbed a pipe and he just hit it over the head of his manager. Well, Daniel Johnson was like institutionalized for a while for doing that. He's also a folk hero. But you know you, they don't have pipe fighting, not really. But they they do they do fight in UFC and they beat the crap out of one another. But they do wear gloves, um, which does it, it doesn't do as much damage. But the knuckle does get involved. You know they still feel the pain, and they cut open. Uh, they they do cut, like it gets so bad that they punch and it actually bleeds for you know a day or two. It's brutal, but they do UFC all the time and nobody gets in trouble because they sign the contracts saying that they're going to fight before the public and they get in the ring and they, they agree upon it. If it's agreed upon, then it is not assault. Ask uh, Johnny Knoxville. He deals with a lot of uh, situations because he's had people, well, he's probably done a thing where so-and-so punched so-and-so in the face. They're doing professional slapping right now. It's like an Olympic thing. I don't know if it's going to make Olympics, but they do a professional slapping. It's pretty cool. All right, moving pictures. Eamon Carter, May through August 25th. What's going on right now?